I'm not gonna lie, it's like a learning curve though because what it's teaching me. Dude, can you guys see my makeup? I wanna put a little lip liner on. What it, what it's teaching me is that um, I just gotta have every single thing done the day before, like everything, minus my makeup. The day that I wake up, I literally only wanna do my makeup. I wanna have my hair done the day before. Yeah, like everything just done the day before because I, I be having bad anxiety and I don't like dealing with anything that's gonna stress me out on the day that I have events. We did the clothing shopping yesterday. We did the lashes yesterday. All I was supposed to do was wake up today. My hair was gonna be done. Go get a touch up on your nails. Go get a touch up on my feet and um stuff like that my nails is okay but my don't go get a touch with my feet Put on your clothes and literally just get Chill. dressed and go yes. and makeup that was it today yeah it was supposed to be nails makeup and get dressed light something like and go so like you know i'm just like as i'm getting into doing a bit i'm just learning like let's have everything done the day before what type of female are you looking for um i would like a, a sexy tall Female that I like my females a little taller than me. You know, she's like a little, a little princess. I'm a thick girl, so to make me feel little is a real, real hard job. But you know, you can make me feel a little and small and cute. I like that. Um, I like to be handled, you know. And it's real hard to um, handle a girl like me because I'm, a, I am very submissive. But in order for me to turn my submissive on. You have to be more alpha than me because I'm an alpha. So I don't really meet a lot of people that can stand up to Big Z, honestly, because I'm, I'm an alpha female. But I know how to be submissive to my mate when they make me feel like safe and like I, I can be and I should be. I'm definitely not for the weak. I'm working. I'm 100% working. I love to spoil my partner. Uh, someone that can match my fly. Someone that understands that I, and, and not even just for, in a female, in a male too. Someone that can match my fly. Someone that's not intimidated by me because I can, I'm not going to lie. I can't be intimidated because of what I have going on. I have a lot going on. I'm a boss, babe. I'm an entrepreneur. And I'm very driven and motivated. So I'm looking to also have a, a family dynamic with somebody, but it has to be the right person. A person that knows how to take me as I am. And add to the table not take away from it i don't need someone that's just looking to take from my table because i have a lot on the table and i am the table and i bring a lot to it yes i am the table and i bring a lot to it so um in terms of a partner like i'm definitely submissive but it's gonna take an alpha person that is even more alpha than me to bring that out of me um i'm definitely not for the weak so i am the person that literally makes it happen with the strength of God, of course, but I don't, I don't, um, I don't lay down. When things get rough, I get it going. I might got a little anxiety, but I get it going. So it's like I need a partner that can complement that. That is like right here in the trenches with me. Like, all right, babe, how can I help? What can I do? Or not even asking how can I help. They look and see where they where they needed at, and just they fill in. What was you saying, friend? I was saying like this is the beginning of your your show, your TV show, When Is These Love? Yes. It's super exciting. Yeah. Super amazing. Um, do you think that I'll find love today? I think it's a possibility. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You go in with an open mind, be transparent. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Because this won't be the first one. So yeah. if we got to travel coming to the city near you. Ooh, I like that. I like that vibe. A city near you. If you that mean, um, hey, anybody can win the spot. That part. And um, if you want Zamina to come, let's say if I don't actually you know solidify what i like today or i just solidify something i like but i'm not locked in which i'm not looking to lock in on anything right away to be honest with you because i need to you know explore my options there's a lot of fish out in the sea and i'm trying to see them um if you want me to come to a city near you and bring you know zamina's show of looking for love zamina's charm to the table oh yes zamina's charm all that good stuff um to your city right below in the comments and let me know what city you think that um i should come to and bring this and bring this wonderful amazing sexy show to you a city name this thing that is it's something that y'all don't really know about me but i have this thing where i don't like to be on the day that i have an event especially like a big event going on 
I don't like for anybody to call my phone. Um, this is just a thing. So I don't like anybody to call my phone. I don't like anybody to text my phone that is not a part of helping and that's on my team. Because I really like suffer with anxiety really bad. And it be to a point that like I get so like nervous because I'm trying to make sure that I have this in order, that in order, this in order, that in order. But you know, I'm, I'm working on uh, getting a manager right now. Something that y'all also don't know, thus far I have never had a manager. I've been in charge of running my own brand thus far. So as you know, like Zamina or the brand, I've never had management. So I'm literally, everything you've seen thus far, I've literally been like managing my own everything. And as you become bigger, a bigger boss, like you need help. Building a team is definitely very imperative. It's tedious. Because it is how you're able to like really make sure that things go smoothly. And I'm really starting to see the importance of that because as my brand is getting bigger and I'm doing more and more things like the T with Z, <laughs> my podcast, make sure y'all stay tuned. Um, and I'm doing all sorts of other things like my um, e-commerce businesses. And then I'm also going to be doing um, just things where I'm coaching girls and like showing not even girls, but guys too, um, how to really take it up a notch when it comes to their social media presence and how to really monetize that coming soon as well. Um, I am in need of a team to help me to keep everything together, keep everything organized, and you can't do everything by yourself. One thing about it, like I know about myself and that you guys are going to learn as you continue to watch my YouTubes, I am very much a micromanager. I love to micromanage everything because sometimes I just feel like if you don't do it yourself, it ain't going to be done right. But that's where, you know, you got to really find the right people that you can literally close your eyes with and know that they're going to do the job just as good as you, if not better than you. I really wanted to do it better than me, honestly. Um, and that's when I know, like, all right, cool. I put the right people in position and the right people in place. So everything is a learning curve. I'm learning as I go. But I'm getting better and better with time. Our, let's see, we are 22 minutes away. We are 22 minutes away. My heart is pumping. My heart is beating. I heard there's mad people there. Ready for the love of Z. For Zamina or in the building. For my love. You know what I'm saying? And I'm super excited. I don't know who's there. I only got to see like one person. And I think I might have heard like one other person like there. And I'm nervous. You know, I'm really nervous because this is going to be exciting. Like, you know, it's going to be really exciting. And that's going to be a vibe. Like, it's gonna be a vibe. And this is my first outfit for me pulling up to the event. And then I'm gonna have my second outfit. But um, I definitely think we're in the land right now, so it's time to put the pedal to the metal a little bit. It was a little traffic, and um, it's trying to get it popping. So we gonna put a little pedal to the metal, and we gonna get it popping. <laughs> I'm super nervous right now. I just had a few shots to kind of loosen me up. The hook is getting prepared because I'm about to have that next. And I'm just gonna get into my vibe. Like I said, I'm an introvert, but I have to literally get myself into the mode of Zamina Orr, who is the life of the party. She's extrovert, and here I am. So uh, the preparation that goes into that is a lot of me just psyching myself into what's about to happen. And you know, sometimes I have a little something to drink, sometimes I don't need it, sometimes I have a little mm -hmm, a little smoke, some smoke, and sometimes I don't need it. But nonetheless, I'm here, I'm ready, and um, take a look at my look. Rate my look from one to ten. And let me know what you think. This is my first outfit, and uh, I will be changing it to my second outfit, but um, this is the first one. Yes, hey, I'm I ready. Just, yes. I'm ready to get this started. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to my friend, Nick Yardy. Like, we locked in for life. Okay? That is my baby. That is my heart. I love me some Nick Yardy. And nobody's ever going to come between us and me? change that. He really, um, done, he, like, he put all this together for me. He's been like a big part of everything. He done ran around and helped me get every single thing from the balloons oh, man, to the, the liquor to the people that's involved. 
all the people was contacting him, messaging him, literally. Like. <laughs> participated in my 20 girls versus 20 guys aka my 40 verses it was a time that was had today mm -hmm. i definitely had a good time did you i did yeah i had a blast you was even we involved that you wasn't even end. supposed to be involved yeah. but you know you shouldn't show me that video but anyway so with that being said i just want to say mm -hmm. thank you thank you thank you i had a blast and i want you to stay tuned because i want you to see what i'm actually going to do with the winner I'm actually gonna do, for the first time that I've ever seen, I'm gonna actually take my baby out on a date. Yes, my new boo, my baby, you know what I'm saying? At least for this 40 verses, you know? <laughs> for this city. So, um. Uh-oh. Yeah, so with, yeah, for this city. So uh, with that being said, stay tuned. I want you guys to check out the 40 verses video. I want you to check out the BTS of the 40 verses video. And I want you to check out the date for the winner of this 40 versus in Miami, okay? So with that being said as well, let's kick it off like this. We gonna take it over here and we gonna let it go. Y'all ready? Yeah, let go. All right, let go, let go. Let go, let go. I checked in and now it's time to check out for Miami's 40 versus. Bye y'all. Woo! Thank you. Yes. Look at it, y'all. Look at it go up in the air. Versus the one to go. It don't. You gotta get up out of here. Let's go. Cause we gotta fold them up. All right, y'all. Check it out. Yeah. You know the vibes. 